Until we started promoting the movie, I'd never even had a dinner with Katrina Both. <laughs> I'll that wasn't because we of COVID. Were. I just was really busy <laughs> all the time. <laughs> that was these guys. Oh, yeah, what a great dinner last night. I'm like, what? <laughs> what, what you guys, you were all together last night, were you? Wow. Hi, I'm Jamie Dornan. Hi, I'm Katrina Balf. And we are here with Elle playing Knowing Me, Knowing You with our Belfast co-stars. Here on Hines. <laughs> Well, well we know it wasn't uh, Jamie Dornan, because why not, Jamie? The money wasn't good enough. <laughs> and I don't have a great walk. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously can walk because I can move around the place and I got here today, but I wouldn't say it's the sort of walk that high-end designers want their clothes on. <laughs> I had to learn to dance, and I would do a bit of dancing in Belfast, but I had to learn to dance for something else, and the, the dance coach was talking about this movement I needed to do. And he said, you know, it's just like walking, you know, it's heel to toe. And I realized I'd spent my whole life walking on my tiptoes, essentially. Um, and uh, I didn't realize you were meant to do it another way. And actually, you know, now my kids walk everywhere on their tiptoes, everywhere. Um, so it is some weird genetic thing that I am passing down to all the Dornans. But it's wrong and it's probably gonna, you know, I'll probably be in like a back brace when I'm like 50. Um, that would be um, David Tennant's daughter, Olive. I, don't I mean, I, I just I just talked about one the other day. I was getting put under for, for a dental procedure and, and the anesthesiologist was uh, a massive, massive Outlander fan. She came with a cup and then started to sing the theme tune to me as I was going under. So that was... Ooh. Definitely a strange experience. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was interesting. Did she like take photographs of you and stuff while she were Probably. asleep? <laughs> With the mug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, ah. Uh... I don't have any fans, lads. Seriously. I think I used to. By 2015, I peaked. Um, they're, all, they're all gone. <laughs> now, I've had um, very um, committed fans you know, who've, who, who seemingly pay a lot of money to travel around the world to find where I've ended up. And I'm like, wow, you're here in New Orleans. <laughs> wow, you're here in Berlin, you're, you're everywhere. But not in a freaky way, just in a very supportive way. So I appreciate it. Uh, that would be Sir Jamie Dornan. There we go, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I brought this up to Garfield the other recently and he, doesn't remember it this way, but I always thought when you were making like self tapes with Andrew and he, he would be reading with you, he'd often purposely give you very little back to try to get get more of a performance out of you. Maybe he just did that with me. Yeah, I feel like the more I gave, the less he gave back. It, but I, I understand he was probably trying to help me, but he denies it. He's, he says it, that wasn't the case. Yeah, I, he was probably the least enthusiastic about it. Um. I want to say oh. that Dame Judi Dench has rapped yeah. with Lethal Bizzle. Is that true? Well, I, I can't sing for for any money. So if I could just uh, perform with Fontaine's DC kind of punk band, uh, I'd probably get away with my bad singing and it would be really fun. Maybe like Childish Gambino. I think I'd like to just like be on stage with him and watch him and just think, how can you be that cool? But I'd need an instrument. Maybe I play like the recorder or something. <laughs> <laughs> and just bring his cool level down. I don't know. I go for it. I signed up for a, a harmonica, uh, online harmonica learning course. I think I did like half a lesson. And then I, d I hadn't told my wife about it and I mentioned it to her weirdly this week. I said, Jesus, I just remembered I signed up for an online harmonica course. And she said, no, you didn't. I said, I did. And I looked it up and the saddest thing was I signed up for it on my birthday <laughs> in 2020. It's the saddest thing ever. I wasn't exactly the most productive person during lockdown. I don't know that it was a new skill, but I started drawing again during the first lockdown, something I hadn't done in years. Um, I <laughs> realized that I really wasn't that good, but it was it was a nice distraction for a while. Can I see <laughs> some of that? Can I no, see some you of your can't. work? No. <laughs> God, I really Could don't. Could it be Colin? 
No? Oh, yeah, yeah, ah. Jared McCarthy, yeah. Yeah, he was in Hollywood, yeah. Yeah, he's lovely, Jared. We couldn't, weren't really allowed <laughs> until we started promoting the movie. I'd never even had dinner with Katrina Boff. <laughs> That I'll wasn't because of we COVID. Were. I just was really busy <laughs> all the time. <laughs> that was these guys. Oh, yeah, what a great dinner last night. I'm like, what? With the, where, where, you guys, you were all together last night, were you? Wow. We did have a few games of, of football towards the end in yep. our in our little concrete uh, <laughs> patch in front of all of our trailers. I nearly broke Lewis McCaskey one day by accident. That was nice but. of you. <laughs> it was unintentional. To their what now? I'm stumped. I don't know. Is that a... Colin Morgan? <laughs> really? Come on, Judy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I have a... Well, obviously the answer's me. Um, oh. I, I, <laughs> could like do a, I could do a whole podcast on this. It annoys me so much. What is put, it that you dislike so much about it? Let's put it this way. You are putting something in a drink I've ordered that totally alters the taste of the drink I've ordered. And listen, a lot of places do, a lot of places I mean, would, like, I said, would I you really notice yes, the difference? Yes, I mean, man, yes, lemon's a strong taste. Um, so, Is it um, not something that would just improve the sugariness? If you're someone who's worrying about counting calories and, and counting sugar, you shouldn't be ordering a Coke. Like, let's put it that way. Like, If you're worried about the taste of anything, you probably shouldn't be ordering a Coke. But like. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but listen, I it alters the taste. You should be asked first if I've ordered a Coke and it comes with a lemon, like whilst the waiter or waitress is still there, like <laughs> taking it out, like, throwing it down on the table, basically. I'm quite petulant about it. That, me? Me? <laughs> I want to go at that, you know, bouncy floor caper. I just want one run at that thing where I go full tilt. <laughs> like run, run from the corner, full tilt, and just leap into something and see what happens. <laughs> so I if someone could arrange that uh, for me. broken leg. <laughs> yeah, no, I would absolutely <laughs> break my neck, but I would just like to do it, do it, do it once. <laughs> Oh. Jude Hill. Yeah. Jude Hill. It's got to be yeah. Jude Hill, right? MVP all the way. Um, Shirley Dench has done that. Ah, uh, Ken. Yeah. Ken did it at the opening of the 2012 London Games. Ooh. I mean, I would love to be able to do the slalom, <laughs> like the skiing. That would be, I mean, yes. that would be amazing. Either that or like the... Was it Eddie the Eagle jump? I don't think it's called the Eddie the Eagle jump. I, know, but like, I would probably be as bad as he was or as good as just he like was. Just like drip over the edge of the platform. <laughs> yeah. Just land with a thud. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed Belfast. There you go.